see how they run movie we weren't able to get to last week but wanted to follow up on um directed by tom george who i just a director i don't know anything about to be honest I was looking up i was like man this movie feels very familiar to me and i couldn't put my thumb on it until i think like i guess maybe like 30 minutes in i was like ah this feels like ah, like a wes anderson movie crossed with like a knives out movie you know like oh, yeah. it, it was just like a who done it but it was like we're gonna just put the wes anderson touches onto this and yep. I thought it was like okay, you know, mm-hmm. like it pretty much just left being like, yeah, th- this was like enjoyable at parts, but other parts just kind of like lost my attention. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Overall, for a who done it, it was fun. Yeah, I agree. At the end of the day, the who done it, the mystery film format is a tried and true genre for a reason. It's just generally fun to be with. But I think the kind of overt reverence to Agatha Christie, the mystery goat, after all, yeah, to have like such blatant reverence for her because this is literally about one of her plays in real life like these are some real 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 life people in this story like you can't help but think about knives out which was not as literal of an Agatha mm-hmm. christie homage homage but everything else was super indebted to that but it was still original you know yeah i feel like for this it was just like eh, you're kind of trying to do like the wink at the audience thing that knives out nailed but it's not as effective this time around. And mm-hmm. yes, you kind of dressed it up with some like Wes Anderson like film flourishes, but yeah, and characters, and... yeah, char- character quirks and stuff. But it's just not quite as satisfying. So, so wanted to check it out. Of course, Searchlight Pictures film in theaters. This one after they had all those Searchlight movies come out in Hulu in the summer. Kind of a weird strategy still, but. Yeah, I want to check it out. Obviously, Sam Rockwell, Saoirse Ronan, David Oello. Yeah. Like, you got some big, big people in this, so it's obviously worth worth the watch for sure. But yeah, I, I think just like the plot never truly grabbed me. Like the whole mystery of it all. I just, mm-hmm. I think some of the character work, like seeing the scenes, was was fun to be with because you got some good actors here. But yeah, I, I think the whole like it coming together as like a, a meta piece didn't really land as well as they probably hoped it would. Yeah, and you know, you even get Adrian Brody at the beginning of this, right? And he's he's doing the Adrian Brody, but like in a pretty like charming way, you know. Obviously, he, they're uh, they're abroad, and he's this American abroad type guy who's really laying out like how these whodunits are always set up the same way, and it's always the least likable character who gets killed first, blah blah blah, and then he gets killed, and it's like this tongue in cheek like. Oh yeah, look at like us winking at you while we set this movie up in the way that we're just telegraphing. But I, I still think the the opening's like pretty charming. And then you get Sam Rock- Rockwell coming in, and he's just kind of like bland to me, you know, in a lot of the film. I just didn't really find his character like that engaging. I didn't really find no. his performance that engaging, especially playing opposite Sersha, who's like totally going for it being totally upbeat and quirky and ridiculous as this like young constable trying to like make her way as a detective and it's like i it just like didn't the the dynamic there didn't really work for me i guess i agree i could i kept thinking back to like who might have served that rockwell character role better and i kept landing on edward norton who (laughs) yeah like i was like man like you know, if this was self serious, he can nail it too. But also, like, I don't know, like, you'd expect more out of Sam Rockwell too, who has done all kinds of tone in his career. But like, maybe it's just the way this character is written. He's kind of this, like curmudgeonly, like dick, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. He's just not that fun to be with. But at least Sersha just, the, she's obviously a very effervescent, amazing performer, as we know. But just, I don't know. Just like, I still love her accent. Like, I just love listening yeah. to her speak. I don't know. <laughs> I know she could narrate anything and I would, I would enjoy listening to it. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Actually at first, um, I, I was like, because, because of the mustache, I was like, is this? And then when I, when he started talking, I was like, oh no, it's, a, it's Sam Rockwell. But I did think it was Edward Norton for a second. I was like kind of excited just because also like, if you're going to go for the Wes Anderson vibes, like just lean into the same like actors. Like <laughs> you do you have, have Adrian Sersha. Brody here and Sersha. And so, Sersha. Yeah. <laughs> just lean into it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and you know, as as you talked about with like the the setup and just like how things work, it it felt a bit like meandering at points. Like there's that whole like a section where 
they think or Constable Stalker thinks Inspector Stopper, Sam Rockwell's character, is the one that killed the the guy. And like I got like a little bit lost as to like how they totally got there. I don't know. It just felt like there was like <laughs> it wasn't grabbed my attention. And then like the twists and turns, I just started like kind of getting confused. I was like, oh, I don't know how how much I'm following with this. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, it was fine. It's like entertaining. If you and it's like 90 minutes, too, which I thought was great. You know, I was like, oh, yeah, this is perfect. Like you could throw this on when it hits VOD and like spend an afternoon just like watching this eating popcorn, having a drink. You know, like you'll enjoy yourself. It probably just won't be a movie that you really like find yourself like recommending a lot or going back to a lot. 